Hey everybody, this is Captain RL with GPS Fishing Maps. And today, you've probably already seen it for Android. This is the iPhone version, and we're going to teach you how to use the incredible Navionics app. It's the best GPS app out there, period. And Garmin bought Navionics a while back, and now they allow import of GPX files into Navionics. And there's a free trial there for a while too, and a subscription per year is dirt cheap. We highly recommend you get this because our spots work tremendous with it. Although we're not affiliated with that app or Garmin in any way, we highly support their products and especially the Navionics app and Garmin Marine GPSs. Okay, so let's get with it. So our customers would get an email and uh, this one happens to be from a field staffer that, um, not a field staffer, but a pro staffer that works for our team. And uh, this is his this is his update spots for the year he has, he has uh, sent to us that we bought from him. So this is Canaveral to Palm Beach.gpx. Any file ending in .gpx and on an, on, a, on an iPhone, this is what the attachments usually look like at the bottom of the email. So we're going to tap this one, even though you can't see me doing this. We're going to tap, tap this Canaveral to Palm Beach.gpx because that's what goes into Navionics. Keep in mind along the way, I already have this installed. But I'll explain things as I go. So I'm tapping the GPX file. On iPhone, you're going to get this screen a lot of times. And how you get past this is, don't click done, top left. Click the square box. The square box. It's a thin blue box on the right hand top. Just below the percentage of battery and clock. Um, you tap that. It's a box with an up arrow inside. A very thin. People miss it a lot. You can't see me tapping it, but you see top right, okay? That's going to give me my open width options. So I can slide left. You can see what apps I have that will open that file. We don't want any of them, but now to be honest, you can see it right here in the center. It says copy to boating. We want to tap that. Okay, then it asks you if you want to import these markers. Yes, we do. I actually already have those, but this is for purpose of tutorial. So... What you're going to see first is maybe a login screen. You can click not now or go ahead and sign up. And then after that, what you're going to see is, I'm going to show you how this will look. You're going to get this screen. And what that is, is the map detail for the area you've downloaded or that you've imported. So we're just going to select, see all, all, all these blue icons, these blue symbols are the spots. So what we're going to do is center this up in there nice and tight because we don't want to waste any these maps downloaded to your phone for offline use which is just great for offshore they've really thought this app out and it's going to show you buoys markers contours everything in the box that you choose okay so now at the bottom right you're going to click download and so it's going to start downloading that map you see at the bottom it's requesting it now on YouTube, it throws the uh, the iPhone screens out of proportion. You may not be able to see this happening, but you will follow this direction with your iPhone in hand, and you'll see everything that that uh, that I'm seeing. Again, some of this is cut off top and bottom because of the uh, because of the YouTube aspect ratio. Okay, it's downloading that map now, and you can see already it's highlighted it in white. That's what I've chosen to have my map detail. And the map detail again, many contours, um, depths, lots of stuff, lots of options. So let's zoom in. I'll show you what kind of detail you have. We'll get, we'll jump into the intercoastal around Fort Pierce right here real quick and just show you. Look at those contours. Okay, it would have you, of course, if you were riding down the intercoastal. There's the buoys. There's everything. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Say you ordered some spots around Fort Pierce. Okay, here's the 36 hole. And uh, what you wanna do is just slide the screen until it's over the spot you wanna look at. Okay, and then and at the very bottom, you may or may not, oh, the battery. Um, you may or may not be able to see it, but at the bottom in the center, there's a green start button. Then at the top of the screen, after you tap start, you've got everything you need there you've got how many miles it is the distance etc and of course again it's going to show you on this screen where you're at amongst this you know amongst this detail and uh, it's going to also leave tracks where you go this is the best app 
ever. I'm so glad Garmin got a hold of Navionics and straightened it out. Garmin used to have an app called Blue Chart. Throw that away. Get Navionics. Use it. Try it out. Paid a small, very small, insubstantial um, annual fee to have this app. It is definitely worth it. And uh, you'll see why when you use it. This is the best app there is. And, and we're not affiliated in any way. Again, this is just our app of choice for GPX files. Okay? So if you have any questions, just probably rewatch the video. Um, it kind of explains itself. You'll enjoy the app. And again, it works for iPhone, any version, and Android. And for now, I'll sign off. And uh, you guys have a great day. Happy New Year to everybody. And fish on.